And I always like to explain what I'm doing. Danielle said, I've never been explained everything like this, right? That's a good thing. We should know what's going on. You move your arms just like that. You okay there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll your whole body toward me and then a little push here on that left hip bone. Try to relax your whole body. little push at the end there. Good. <laughs> what is going on everyone welcome back to the crack addicts youtube channel home to chiropractic media now in today's video we've got another big chiropractic adjustment video featuring lots of chiropractors all your favorite ones all of the links to the chiropractors will have links in the description to their channel if you want to check them out that's where you can do that or if you want to contact them for treatment that's the way to go now for the upload schedule on this channel i'm going to be posting videos every single day so everyone's got fresh content every single day to watch now i'm going to be posting the content at 8 15 that will be usa time and for everyone who's in london that will be around 1 15 pm but that's pretty pretty much it for today's video guys and girls so if you do enjoy the video subscribe to the channel leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you on the next one next up we have dr scott mitchell and dr matt delgado i'm here today with danielle and danielle has been to chiropractors previously it's been a little bit of time and i'll let her go ahead and explain why she came in to see us today so I have a lot of tightness in my shoulder and my hip, and I feel like um, it's causing immobility with uh, just like my daily life. And what do you like to do for fun? You mentioned you do it about do, four days a week. I do a lot of yoga. So she does a lot of yoga and noticing some restrictions in movement. So I'm happy that she said that because the first thing that we see with any mechanical problem or any misalignment in the spine, as I told you, is a loss of normal motion. Starting with leg length, we're going to get the camera in close here. That left one shorter than the right. When I bring it up here, that left one goes long. You can see that on camera. Again, that's just letting us know. We call that a positive Deerfield test. That's letting us know that this left hip bone has dropped out of place back and down. So, Danielle, is any tenderness yeah. on that left side? She says yes. There's not always, tenderness sometimes is one of the signs, and then the muscles along the crest of the ilium, if we're getting technical, the muscles on the outside of the hip. There we go. Maybe we'll get the camera in close to the feet here. So look what that does when your head turns left. The feet go even. So that's called a cervical syndrome, positive cervical syndrome. That's telling us there's a problem in the neck is down on this right side. So if I feel the neck right there in the middle of her neck, a little tenderness there. She's shaking her head yes. Okay, uh, Danielle, I'll have you sit up for me, please. I'm gonna show you on the spine kind of what's going on with you. Um, but before we do that, if you don't mind facing the camera, we'll do a little bit of motion so we can see how your neck moves. Yeah. So I'll have you look down as far as you can, good, and then up as high as you can. So check that out, her nose is flat. That's either what we'd see, you can relax your neck is like perfect spinal motion, or what I think of is does this person either crack their own neck or sleep on their stomach? So for the very first one, I'll have you on your side facing me like you're sleeping on your side, please. Good. I'm gonna bend the top leg, straighten the bottom. Have you been adjusted like this before? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I always like to ask, there's different techniques. You've seen them if you've been watching our YouTube videos. If you haven't, then watch all the videos and you'll know what I mean. And I always like to explain what I'm doing. Danielle said, I've never been explained everything like this, right? That's a good thing. We should know what's going on. You move your arms just like that. You okay there? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna roll your whole body toward me and then a little push here on that left hip bone. Try to relax your whole body, little push at the end there. Good. <laughs> and then face down for me, please. We're gonna recheck the leg length. And that sigh of relief is a good thing. 
There we go. So leg length has evened out. Magic. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. It's mechanics. <laughs> when mechanics are off, leg length is off. So to make this correction, I'm going to come onto this side. And then you, know, and you take a big breath in. Let it all go. I'm going to follow you down and give a little bit of a push at the end right here. Oh my god. Good. <laughs> and then go ahead and turn it over onto your back. Oh. And go right with that. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> like a relief of pressure, probably. Yeah. Going down in your neck, right in the middle of your neck there. So I'm just going to lightly turn your head to the side. And then just a little bit here. She doesn't have to pop her neck because we got it for her. So she can stop, <laughs> right? Okay. Good. Let's have you sit up, please, Daniel. Just see how your neck moves and how it feels now after. Oh my god. So I like can move all over the place. Good. It's you feel so more great. mobile in the areas you were restricted yeah. before? Yeah. And then especially let's have you turn your head over your right shoulder when it was pinching. Is it still pinching? No. Good. And then look straight ahead and then bend your right ear to the shoulder and see if that is more free yeah. to move. A lot more mobile. Good. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. We take care of a lot of the yoga community here in Austin. This is a common thing. We see that people that are into yoga tend to be more aware of things that are going on. So Danielle came in not because she was in pain, but she noticed some restriction in her movement. Up next, we have Dr. Joseph Cipriano. Good. I'm gonna come up to T1 on the right here. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in and exhale out. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good. We're gonna do one more, a little bit lower here, and out. Good. Okay. So let's come back here. I have you do. I want you to lay on your side, and I want you to face me this way. Yep. And we're gonna bend that top leg. Keep that bottom one straight. Bend that top. Good. There we go, like that. Don't worry, I'm gonna like twist you up into a pretzel here. <laughs> Already moving. There we go. And we'll right in the beginning. Alright, I want you to flip to the other side for me. supine thoracic adjustment. Okay, so with this, I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale out for me. Good. All right, so that was already cleared out. Okay. Next. Okay. There we go. Oh, and relax right there for me. <laughs> how did that feel? <laughs> <laughs> you feel how that decompressed the spine like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you feel how that just opened everything up. <laughs> Different, isn't it? Yeah, very. 
How would you describe that to somebody who's never had that white stripe down? That's <sighs> something. <laughs> it feels great, man. I mean, you have to experience that one. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.